Hello everyone! In this video you can watch me make a large resin geode. To make this geode I used different supplies to create the natural look of a real geode. So I hope you will enjoy watching my video and will give me a thumbs up for it. Yeah, a large geode because uh, this is a geode artboard of 70 by 80 centimeters. And I like, li like to work on large uh, projects. And I'm starting with an isolation foam. I think it's called that way, a construction foam. Because I want to create a rough natural look on the edge. And this foam expands, as you can see. I never used it before, so this is also an experiment. I want to see how it looks. So on the edge I'm adding this uh, foam, but also a line on top of my uh, ge geode artboard. You will see that in a minute. So I prime, prime my geode artboard with two layers of gesso and two layers of acrylic paint. And then the artboard is totally sealed. There you can see me add a line on top of my uh, surface. So this needs to dry. So I'm going to start already with some acrylic crystals. There you can see it. I'm using clear acrylic crystals in different sizes. And I add the acrylic crystals in a paper cup, a little bit of resin, and then I uh, place them against the edge of my uh, geode board. In between the acrylic crystals I'm using decoration sand and this is in a dark gray color. Also in a paper cup with a little bit of resin and now I'm adding it onto the edge of my uh, geode board. Because this will resemble the nice sparkly crystals you see in a real geode. And I'm also going to use some real uh, crystals. These are real uh, pyrite crystals. I hope I pronounced the name right. And I'm pushing those crystals into that decoration sand. There you can see it. More decoration sand onto the edge. And I just love those real pyrite crystals. They sparkle a lot. Yeah, what I mentioned, I love to work on larger projects because I can work on it several times. So this is the first step. Then I need to let this dry before I can work on it again. But I don't mind, I like that. And I have my geode board flat on my table. And um, underneath I have a piece of acetate sheet. Onto the edge also some real pyrite crystals. There you can see it. And these are so nice. They come in different sizes. These are really small. And on the edge of the uh, pyrite crystals and acrylic crystals, I'm adding some of my mirror glass. And this is an iridescent mirror glass in the color Starlight. You can find it in my Etsy shop. I think it's a really beautiful mirror glass. The link to my Etsy shop is in the description below this video. And some of my supplies are also available in the USA and Canada by my associate. Evelyn Schaefer, 
The link to her Etsy shop is also in the description below this video. Yeah, this takes a little bit of time. And you can already see that the uh, isolation foam has expanded. But yeah, it still needs to dry before I can uh, work on it again. So the isolation foam is dry and now I'm going to cut away some pieces uh, from the top of that isolation uh, foam. You can see it. Because I don't want it uh, too high. And this way I can create a nice structure. And it's very easy to cut away uh, those pieces. And I think it already looks nice. And the crystal part is also beautiful. Very pleased with that. Yeah, this is the first time I'm trying this technique with the isolation uh, foam. And it's also very cheap. But of course I'm going to uh, work on that isolation foam a little bit more. Now I'm spraying it uh, in a gold color and I'm using the Moloto spray paint. I think that will look nice if I uh, make that isolation, uh, isolation foam in a gold color. When using spray paint, make sure you uh, ventilate your room well, because it's not good to breathe in those uh, that paint. I always wear a safety, safety mask. Also, this line. It's getting a gold color. So I'm almost done with this part of my uh, geode. I need to let this dry before I can uh, work on it again. So I'm going to start on the first resin layer and I'm using uh, white, in this case I'm using the Color Passion Base Cell White. I never tried these pigment pastes on a, a painting, so I'm very curious how they work. And I want to thank Kim from Color Passion so much for sending me uh, some of her pigment pastes. I'm going to use a few of her paste in this uh, geode, so I'm very curious uh, what they look like. But for sure they will look uh, very beautiful. So I'm spreading the white color with my stirring stick. You 
using my heat gun to remove air bubbles. And now I'm going to add a ribbon in different colors. And the colors that I'm using are Color Passion uh, Beats Sand Luster. Uh, one of my own uh, mica pigments in the color Blue Tavita. Um, color Passion Deborah Blue. And another mica pigment of my own and that's the color White Lily. And I'm using a ribbon tool for that. I made that tool myself. It's made out of silicon so it's very easy to clean. And I'm working on a better version of that ribbon tool because I want to sell it in my Etsy shop. So another ribbon, there you can see it. It has four sections in which you can uh, add the colors and then you can make the ribbon. But I don't like uh, the straight lines as you all know. So I'm going to blend those colors a little bit and I'm using the swipe technique for that and when you do the swipe technique you need to use a piece of plastic or a piece of um, baking paper but in this case I'm using a little piece of a acetate sheet and then I drag the colors over each other to create nice effects but also to blend the colors a little bit because I want to create that natural look of a real geode because when I look at a real geode it also doesn't have those straight lines they are blended a little bit there you can see it again using a piece of acetate sheet to drag the colors over the white base layer It's also about experimenting for me. I never used those Color Passion pigment paste, so I want to see what effects I can create with it. So that's why I'm trying out different things. Because now you can see me add a line on top of that ribbon, and this is the color uh, Beach Sand Luster. Very nice. Uh, color and also a line of the white lily on top of that ribbon and a line of the blue tavita very nice um, yeah it almost looks like opal that blue tavita I'm also using my steering stick to blend the colors. It ju it, it's just like painting with resin instead of acrylic paint. If you understand what I'm trying to say. Normally you use a brush uh, when you use acrylic paint. But now I'm using a steering stick on top of a resin. Again, I'm using a piece of acetate sheet. To blend the colors. Yeah, and this is only the first layer. It will get more resin layers to create a nice depth. But the isolation foam works very well. It looks nice. I'm not totally pleased with the gold color. It's a little bit too dark. So
So I'm almost done. I will let this dry and then I'm going to work on it again. Yeah, what I mentioned, I didn't like the color on my isol uh, isolation foam. So that's why I'm coloring it with um, one of my mica pigments. This is the Bouillon Rich Gold. And I added a little bit of the Faleo Polyurethane Gloss Varnish. And then you can color the isolation foam with it. I think this is a very nice gold color. So also my pigments can be used in a uh, polyurethane gloss varnish. So this is very easy to do. A little bit further in the process. I already did the uh, line that I added on top of my uh, geode board. So all the supplies I'm using in this video you can find at the end of the video but also in the description below this video with the link to the website. So if you're curious Please check out the description. So now I'm going to add a line of the mirror glass that I also added in the crystal part in the beginning of this video. This is again the starlight, the iridescent starlight. But I'm also going to add again those real pyrite crystals. So I added the mirror glass into a paper cup, a little bit of resin, and then you can make a line on top of your uh, geode board. There you can see it. Again, further in the process, adding a little bit of resin on top of that line, clear resin. Now I'm going to fill in the gaps with white and I'm using the same white, the Color Passion Base Cell White, pushing it against uh, my mirror glass line yeah and this is a longer video because I want to show you as much as I can of the process So hopefully you enjoy watching this uh, video. And there you can see me add some larger pyrite crystals in some places. There you can see it. These are about 4 mm, four, in between 4 and 6. And they are really nice. And at the end of this video I'm going to show you a close up. Then you can see the crystals much better. So I don't want any resin on top of these crystals, so that's why I'm adding it one by one on top of the resin. Again some white.
And now I'm going to make another ribbon. But now I added a darker shade of blue and this is the blue passion. And three of the other colors that I also used with the other ribbons. And again I'm doing it. I'm going to use the swipe technique with a piece of acetate. Yeah, when you heat the resin a little bit, it gets more liquid. And then you can blend those colors much easier. Using my torch to remove air bubbles. A smaller piece of acetate, you can see it. So this part of the geode was already dry, so now I'm going to add acrylic lines in uh, white in different thicknesses. So I'm almost done. Again, I need to let this dry before I can work on it again. So we are 24 hours later. I already added more white acrylic lines on top of the ribbons. And now I'm going to add a dark blue glitter line. And I'm using the high build resin from Eli Chem. And this high build resin is a very high viscosity resin. So that means very thick. And it will not spread to the side. I love to uh, work with this resin when I'm adding glitter lines. And another blue glitter line also to create a little bit more contrast I always love this part of creating a geode adding details and also on uh, against the edge of this isolation foam line I will add my mirror glass in the color starlight but I need to watch out because the glitter line is still wet a little bit further in the process Also, this takes some time. Another blue glitter line. Yeah, I'm very happy how it looks already. I'm not done yet. Again, we are 24 hours later and now I'm going to add some resin lines also with a high build resin and this is the color blue Tevata. so on top of that ribbon a line of the blue Tevata. 
And because of the high build resin, I can create a really nice depth against the mirror glass, the same color. But hopefully you can see the depth in the close-up at the end of this video. Against the isolation foam line, I'm adding a gold glitter line. Again, I'm using the high build resin to create that depth. But also the uh, nice sparkle that you also see in a real geode. And I like to use those piping bags because then you have much more control over the line. I'm also adding uh, that gold glitter on top of the isolation foam. There you can see it only a little bit in some places. Because also in a real geode, if there are cracks in it, then you can see the sparkly of the crystals, sparkly effect. So that's what I'm trying to create. Another resin line, but this is in the color, uh, a mixture of white lily and blue tavita. So a very light shade of blue. And these lines will create the depth. Also against the blue glitter line, there you can see it. And I forgot to mention the resin that I'm using is uh, from Resin Pro. It's the Art Pro resin, a medium viscosity resin. I love that resin. It's a, of a great quality and not that expensive. Unfortunately, they only ship within Europe. But the link to their website is in the description. Just as all my promo codes, I have several now, with great discounts, so if you're curious, please check it out. Again, a gold glitter line, very thin. So this part of my geode is almost done. Again, I need to let it dry for 24 hours. Now I'm going to use a gilding liquid and in between the gold glitter line and the resin line I'm going to add this gilding liquid from a resin pro in a nice gold color. And I'm using an eyeshadow applicator for it. I think that works very well. It's a kind of sponge. There you can see it. Also against the mirror glass and the real pyrite crystals. And I'm using those resin line as a barrier so it will not flow um, or spread to the sides. It will stay within those barriers.
So on all white parts of my diode, I'm going to add an iridescent uh, glitter. And this is the glitter from Glitter Queen. Uh, it's a small Dutch company. And this is in the color white iridescent moonlight. I think it's a great glitter. Hopefully you can see it in the close-up at the end of the video. Also the link to her website is in the description. And I also have a promo code for that website. So if you use my code you will get 10% discount. So that's amazing. So on all the white parts I'm adding this glitter. Very careful. Because I want it a little bit more sparkly. And again I'm using those rattan lines and glitter lines as a barrier so it cannot spread to the sides. But I'm very pleased with how that isolation foam uh, looks. And for sure I'm going to uh, try that again. And those pigment paste are also very nice. They are bright, sparkly. So thanks again Kim for sending me uh, your uh, pigment paste to try out and in upcoming videos I will try them again. So thank you so much. Against the gold glitter line I'm also adding a gilding line. I can see it. Not too thick. A thin line. So again the resin is dry and I'm going to add a clear layer of resin to seal the gilding liquid but also the acrylic lines and this is the third resin layer. And by adding a clear layer of resin you can create a nice depth because of all the glitter lines and the resin lines. But I'm very pleased how it looks. I'm very impressed by the isolation foam. I love the crystal part that I added in the beginning with the real pyrite crystals. And I also like the blending of all the different shades of blue. And that iridescent mirror glass is amazing. It looks very nice against the gold color. So I'm almost done. I will let this dry and then I will show you all the end result. So this is the end result, I have it outside in the daylight. There you can see the isolation foam that I colored with one of my mica pigments, the 
Bouillant rich gold, the mirror glass, the nice blending of colors, the resin lines, glitter lines. Yeah, I'm very pleased. And also nice iridescent white moonlight glitter from Glitter Queen. Yeah, I'm very happy with the outcome of this uh, geode. If you're interested in the Color Passion pigment paste, the link to her website is below this video in the description. And I also have a promo code for that website. If you use my code JUSTPAINT10, then you will get 10% discount. So that's amazing. But all the information is in the description. Yeah, I'm trying to show you the depth. And the real pyrite crystals, they are amazing. Some great effects. A little bit closer. Yeah, I'm really pleased. So let me know what you think of my resin diodes in the comments below. Uh, I want to thank you all for watching again. And hopefully, I will see you in my next video. Bye!